Do you think wind kites are just a fun toy to play around? What if we told you that this kite can move a 165,000-ton cargo ship around the seas with nothing but the power of high winds it gets? Here's how they do it. To deliver goods around the globe, cargo ships need to travel thousands of miles every day and burn an insane amount of fuel, nearly up to 400 tons a day, enough to fuel around 1,000 cars. But this fuel isn't an ordinary one. It's known as a bunker fuel, a tar-like liquid every ship in the world uses thanks to its cheap price. But this price comes with a heavy downside. It's highly toxic and dirty. A single ship can pollute the equivalent of 50 million cars in a single day. So how can we make them more clean? Well, this French startup decided to reinvent the sails. This is a sea wing, a 5,400 square foot kite system installed on a $30 million cargo ship that's going to sail back and forth to prove how a single kite can save tons of fuel and reduce pollution by up to 20%. But how does it work? is what we want to see. When the ship enters international water, the parafoil kite can be deployed with the touch of a single button. It then emerges from storage, the mast unfolds and allows the kite to rise up to 900 feet above sea level. This is a preferable altitude to catch strong winds and get the most power to tow the ship to the next port. The entire process of mast raising and then folding back takes anything from 10 to 20 minutes, and it's a splendid sight to see. The kite itself has an aerodynamic shape that is better inflated by the wind, a shape widely used by NASA and SpaceX when it comes to landing their ships safely. To get the most power, the kite moves in a figure eight pattern. It can be changed, however, as this system constantly monitors weather conditions and determines the best routes with no delays. And don't worry about the safety of the kite. The sailcloth is made of synthetic materials, so when it rains, it'll be perfectly fine. The rope is also synthetic, making it twice as safe. But here's the catch. While the kite tows the ship, it makes it slower to sail, but still burns 33% less fuel. And the kite doesn't replace the engine entirely. The ship still needs the engine power to dock into the harbor. But this system isn't only for sails. It's also an alternative to wind turbines. Sounds shocking, but building turbines requires lots of work and materials, while this German station can raise the kite up further and get the same, if not more, energy as the wind turbine would. This is an airborne wind energy system, a five-component station that generates power with kites. It has a free-flying kite on a tether, a launch and recovery system, an automatic control system, a generator to make power, and a ground control station where all the magic happens. Here's how it works. To start generating power, the air unfolds the kite to its full size until it's ready for launch. Then a winch extends the tether until the kite reaches its operational altitude of 650 to 2,600 feet above the ground. The higher it goes, the more power it can get. Then the kite starts to move eight shape like on ships and generate power for the generator. Important thing to say, the generator that controls the kites consumes only a fraction of its energy while the rest of it is fed to the grid and then the cycle repeats. Once it's done working, the winch retracts the tether completely, taking the kite to dock to the launch site and be stowed away. Maybe sailing will indeed return to our lives someday.